wow, we're here. All the hard work has been done. You've now accomplished uh, this last chapter and you've got your spiritual gifts and they've been revealed to you. I need to understand that the spiritual gifts assessment is from a completely different source than the, all the other assessments. So one wasn't written for the other and there isn't any uh, connection between who wrote uh, both of those assessments. But you'll find that these are complementary and that they will enforce what you have. If God is asking you to live a life and use abilities of empathy and to do counseling and guiding, you'll find out that you quite likely have mercy. If you have the impact style of a cooperator, guess what? You're probably likely going to have serving as one of your spiritual gifts. These things work together. Understand that all of this is intended for you to have what you are most fulfilled with by actually being who God created you to be. It's not an accident. Your spiritual gifts, your, your individual God-given design, all comes together for you to become the very person that God wants you to be. Everything that you desire in life, the things that are most important, do you desire justice? Do you desire fairness? Do you desire to be heard? Do you desire truth? All those things are ultimately fulfilled in heaven. But you have the ability through God working through you to bring those heavenly truths here to earth so that you can actually spread that and be able to breathe that into creation that needs it so desperately, that's dying for it. It's not going to change overnight. You're not going to become this person that God created you to be and undo all the puppet strings that the enemy has placed in you overnight. You need to be patient with yourself. If you have responsibilities such as raising children or taking on certain things, God expects you to be faithful in those areas. He doesn't expect you to sacrifice your responsibility as a mother or a father to be able to accomplish His will. You need to be honorable in those areas too. But maybe now is the time of training. Are you a teacher? Do you have the spiritual gift of teaching? Study. Are you a natural leader. Take on small leadership roles that allow you to be able to exercise and understand how that works. It's a moment for you to begin to get your feet underneath you, but be patient. God will bring you along as you are ready, as you've learned each lesson. Understand, in the Kingdom of Heaven, there is no social promotions. Every grade that you get promoted to, you have earned, you have learned, you have accomplished what you needed to accomplish, and now you're able to move forward to that next class. So if God says, I need you to learn this lesson, you're going to stay there until you learn that lesson. Ask Him to teach you. Ask Him to reveal you. Ask Him to soften your heart if that's what is necessary. Now this is very, very difficult to do on your own. In fact, it, it may be impossible. There is a community out there. Uh, Brush Fires has a, a Facebook group that you're welcome to join. Simply find us, uh, Brush Fires Discover Your Design, and you can ask to be uh, added to that group. And there's a lot of graduates there that are willing and ready to encourage you on your purpose. If this is something you're doing as part of a small group, Start to speak these things into one another. When you understand what your purpose is and what your design is, encourage each other to pursue that. If you truly love the people that are in your group, you're going to want to want for them what God wants for them. Because you'll know they'll only be happy, they'll only be fulfilled, they'll only be contented once they become that version of them that God created them to be. So lead them, guide them, encourage them. Be all that they need in the community. Be the arms for them to hug them when they're discouraged. Be the hand that pats them on the back when they did well. And lead, help them to achieve what God wants to achieve through them. Are you ready?